without a doubt, Rome's best preserved ancient building. And it is undoubtedly one of the most studied of Rome's ancient monuments. It's been imitated architecturally over the centuries. In fact, Thomas Jefferson wanted very much that the Capitol building of the United States be modeled after the Pantheon. And it has provided an inspiration in spirit as well. The Pantheon in Paris takes its design and spirit as a burial place from the original one in Rome. The ancient Roman historian Dio Cassius wrote in the third century that the Pantheon is the fairest of Rome's building and its dome looks like the vault of heaven. And Ammianus Marcellinus in the fourth century said that the Pantheon was so large that it appeared to cover the entire quarter of the city in which it was located. In the medieval guidebooks, the Pantheon always figures prominently here in this slide, even though perhaps it is not drawn quite accurately. It was one of medieval Rome's most widely recognized buildings. And Michelangelo, who was himself a great architect, said of the Pantheon that it was designed by angels and not by men. Pope Urban VIII who did, as we'll see later in the class, a great deal to the Pantheon, left behind an inscription in the Pantheon saying, Panteon Edificium Toto Terrarum Orbe Celeberimum. The Pantheon is the most celebrated edifice of the entire world. But yet, there is a lot that is not known about the Pantheon. We don't know the name of the architect, for instance. The exact dates of the Pantheon are disputed. And even the original function of this building has been called into question. <laughs>